Girl, I no longer believe in second chances. Believe who somebody show you that they are the first time around. I've learned that from a young age. The first time somebody do you wrong, that's who they are. The first time someone screams at you, the first time someone acts like they're the type of person that will put their hands on you, the first time he cheats on you, the first time she says or does something that's super, super weird that you just was like, that wasn't okay. This isn't a conversation that needs to be had. We always try to go to, oh, well, I need closure. I need to know why he or she did me this way. I need to know why he cheated on me. I need to know why why not me is basically what you're saying and it's coming from from one you haven't figured out totally your self-worth because when you do when it click it's going to be something that no one can no longer take from you you will no longer doubt why somebody did you this way or why did she ghost me and stop being friends with me oh why did he ghost me why doesn't he like me enough why does he keep cheating it will be just what it is oh he cheated i'm cool on you Oh, she doesn't want to be my friend anymore? That's fine. I'm cool on you. Life goes on. Because you will be so confident in yourself and what you bring to the table that you won't care or feel the need to try to figure out or get closure on something that's already done, that's already said. So you don't have to give somebody a second chance to show you who they are because they already showed you once. A few months ago, this guy asked me for my number uh, or whatever, and I gave him my number. But I also told him that I don't do last minute plans. I know how guys are in, well, I know how guys can be in this 2024 season. So I really like to just set my expectations right up front. I don't do last minute plans, and that's with men or friends. I just, I'm just not into it. Why did he call me? Because this is what men do. They will try. If you let them, they're going to try. So he called me and he was like, let's go here. And I was like, that's cute. But I told you, I don't do last minute plans. He proceeded to say, oh, you're going to do it with me? With a laugh. Trying to make it like it's jokingly. But one thing I know, I've learned about men, men don't joke like that. They joke, but they're serious. So guess what I did? I hung up and blocked him. I'm not giving him a chance to show me who he really is when he's already when he's already showed me. He just showed me. He showed me that he's not gonna respect my boundaries for one and for two. He's gonna be the type of guy that always want to do something last minute. He's gonna want to come to your house last minute. He's gonna try to plan a, a unthoughtful, not well thought out date. He's gonna be a last minute type of guy. So why would I get with him or I start making it something ser serious? Why would I think that he would change? When he approached me, that's how he came. He was showing me his hand, essentially. So that's what I want you to know about guys. When they do something to you the first time, it's hardly ever rare that they will never do it again. We're living through a time right now where we're seeing on social media and it's sad that Offset has cheated on Cardi B multiple times. And now that she's finally done, as we think, um, it took her kids and a marriage and all of that to see that none of those things will change him. Moving won't change him. Having a kid won't change that. A, a marriage won't change that. People tend to think, oh, I don't want to get married because a man will still cheat. A man will still do this. A man will switch up. But a man will do those things anyway. A kid is more of a commitment than a marriage, but you would rather give this person your body, risk your life. I will not. I will not. Not for somebody who already showed me who they were. I would say I would have saved myself a ton of heartbreak, a ton, a ton of time if I would have just looked at the person for what they were showing me right then and there. Not trying to color it pink, not trying to color it blue. It's a red flag, and you're looking at him. If you're in a relationship and it's no longer serving you and he's keep he's done the same thing over and over and over, you have to keep talking about the same thing over and over and over. It's time to let go. It can be scary. It can, but I promise you will make it through it. Stop giving all these people another chance to run it on you, another chance to do you wrong, another chance to break your heart, essentially. Because friends can break your heart and men can break your heart. Family members can break your heart. I see people go through it all the time, even with their family members, from their mom to their friends. 
You know that your mom is a narcissist, but you continue to try and try and try. A person will only change if they want to change. A leopard doesn't change its spots. They don't. It's some of the most craziest cliche things that people say that is so true. I've officially been stepped out of my second chance era. And that was the most, that was the best thing that I could have done for myself. Because you don't deserve me. If you can't show up as the person and be that person that I deserve, you don't deserve me. You don't deserve to be in my life. Think of yourself like the king or queen that you are. A lot of people don't deserve to be in your life. They don't They don't deserve to be your friend. They don't deserve to be your significant other. But you have to see that value in you first. It's going to start with that value. Once you start getting that ultimate value of yourself, you know what? I'm good. I'm too good for this. I'm too good for the drama that this ex-friend comes with. I'm too good to keep letting him treat me like a doormat. Once you become into that awakening and becoming that woman or a man who's just too good for a lot of things you're going to become your most best self it's going to feel so good and it's going to be so refreshing but it's going to start with peeping out those red flags and stop giving them second chances to prove to you what they've already shown to you this is not little kid stuff when oh he didn't take out the trash that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking real red walking red flags like that he showed you multiple times that he has anger issues why do you have to keep talking to him about punching holes in the wall throwing his phone and how that makes you uncomfortable and he's still doing those exact things i'm speaking from experience it's a frightening situation to be in because it's something that you're not used to but then a narcissist will try to explain himself away as oh i always acted like this this is just how I act. Take it or leave it. But you have to be so confident and love yourself so much that you know how to walk away. That's all it is. Once you start getting comfortable walking away and saying, no, I'm okay. I'm okay with missing out. You're going to get different results in your friendships and your dating life. And then just in your life, period. Relationships, period, from family to friends to men. Don't give people a second chance to play with you. Stand on everything that you deserve because we only get one life. We only get one chance to really love ourselves and love our body and feel comfort comfortable and confident. I only want you around people who love you, who eyes light up when you come around. Those are the type of people you should be around. People that if something, if you did have a misunderstanding, one conversation would do it. Someone that's your genuine friend, one conversation about how something made you feel will do it. If that's your man and he done something, he's done something that just doesn't sit right with you, one conversation will do it. So no, you don't need closure. You just need to start recognizing that you deserve better. That's it. No more second chances. No more worrying about closure.